Constituency Always a Liaison Committee. Right. Mr Carton, start things off. Could you tell us whether you are one of the 20 people who receives one of these fixed penalty notices? And if you're not, are you expecting to secure one in the next few days and weeks? Um, well, uh, Pete, I think, um, I'm sure you'd know uh, if, if, if I were, uh, but I, th I think that the, look, let me, let me just say generally on this whole issue, um, I have, I think, been several times to the, to the House to, uh, to talk about this and to, uh, to explain and to apologise and to, to set out the things that we were uh, doing to, to change. Uh, the way things run in, in, in number 10, and, and we, we've done that. But what I also said repeatedly, and, and Mr Betts, I hope you'll forgive me if I, if I return to this, this theme, uh, I've said repeatedly that I won't give a, a running commentary on an investigation that is, is underway. And, and I, I know that um, you, you will want, you will, and people will be naturally curious about all sorts of things, and I totally understand that. But I, I, I just think it, it would be wrong of me to, to deviate from that. Absolutely. Prime Minister, we're not expecting you to give a bloody commentary, quite obviously, but I mean, if you are served with one of them, you're, you're pretty much toast, aren't you? I mean, no Prime Minister could possibly survive find, being found of criminality for the very rules that that Prime Minister set. You'd, you'd be finished if you got one. Well, I, I, with, with deepest uh, respect to you, Pete, I, 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 I don't in any way wish to, to minimise the importance of the of the issue and, and, and your point, but I, I just want to return to, to what I've said, and that is that um, that, that would, would come under the category of, of, of running commentary, in, in my view. Getting away from running commentary, you, you can at least accept that there has been criminality committed. I mean, apparently your spokesperson's just contradicted the assertions made by the Justice Secretary, your deputy, this morning, that there has been Criminality. You, you do accept that uh, criminality. I mean, Twenty fixed penalty notices have been issued for goodness' sake. There can't be any contradiction in doubt. Well, that criminality. So, I, I've been. I, I hope uh, very frank with the House about uh, where I think we've we've gone wrong, and uh, the things that I I regret that I I apologise for. Um, but in there is an ongoing investigation and. Um, I, 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 I understand. I understand the. I understand the point you're making, Pete. But I, I'm going to, uh, you know, camp pretty firmly on, uh, on my position. I'm not saying anything. Which, in, which is, Mr. Toll, or answer any which, questions. No, I understand that, and uh, look, I, you know, I understand why you have to ask it, and it's quite right that you, that you do. But that I've, I've been very clear. I won't um, give running commentary on an okay, well, ongoing maybe, investigation. Can we maybe go over some of the things that you have said to us, which we do understand which is a matter of record, and you can maybe help clarify some of them, because some of it I find very difficult to understand, because first you said there was no rule breaking, that was right, yeah? Then you claimed you weren't aware of any of these parties. Then you said it was a, a work meeting. Then you said you were outraged by them. Then you said you were aware of these events, but they weren't against the rules. And finally, you admitted you were at these events, but you were so ignorant of the rules, you didn't realise you were breaking them. You do understand why the public has such difficulty with all this. Uh, yeah, of course, Pete. But, uh, and, you know, I, I don't want to... Uh, and I understand why you're, why you're asking the, the questions, and, but I just want to, to repeat that there will come a, a point... Uh, when I will be able uh, to uh, talk about the uh, investigation and the conclusions of the of the investigation, and that is when the investigation has concluded. And I've no doubt at all that I will be back before this committee, uh, back before uh, the House of Commons, uh, to, to talk about it. But at the moment, it's it's still going on. And, and if it has been found that you did break the ministerial code, which, looking at all the things you've said and all the things that have transpired, it's, it's almost pretty crystal clear that you did, that will mean a resignation issue for you. Uh, I, with great respect, Pete, I think you're just going to have to uh, hold your, uh, your horses and, and, wait until, and wait until the conclusion of the um, investigation uh, when the, there will be a, a lot more clarity and I will, I will, be, I will be back before do, this, do you, do you this committee and, and I've no doubt back before the the body of the House of Commons, and, and, and I'd be only too happy to, yeah. to, to 
elucidate you further. Do you realise how frustrated and disappointed the public will be with these responses from you today? They expect some I, sort of answers. I mean, like, just talk about your leadership at number 10. I mean, I was in rock and roll for 15 years. I mean, I could never even start to compete and keep up with activities number 10 under lockdown and the partying culture that you created. Which response that, that, You this? see, that is... I, you know, I, I, I hear you, Pete, uh, uh, but if I may say so, that... Uh, you know, that is a, that is a, a, a very good illustration. Uh, your question is a very good illustration of why it is important that we should wait to the uh, conclusion of the, of the investigation. I think you famously sang, talking on the rock and roll theme, that I will survive. Are you still going to survive? It's, it's not looking good, is it? I, 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 if I just you know, respectfully say... Uh, we could maybe have a duet after we're, this. We're, yeah, we're always, always to... Uh, only too happy to to to, to have, to have a, uh, uh, you know uh, drink with my friends from the the, the SNP. Uh, but look, uh, this is not um, something I can say uh, much more about right you now. You thought you'd got away with it, didn't you? You, you thought that this was going to be put, put aside and nobody would be interested. No. To, you've been a bit shocked in the course of the past 24 hours, and you got texts last night of parading your MPs in front of the COVID bereaved to go and party the day that you received fixed penalty notices was surely dreadful optics. Uh, Pete, there will be a time for me to talk to you uh, at length. I mean, you have, that's your view. Uh, you're entitled to, to your characterisation uh, of, uh, of events that, that you can you know, uh, have no... I wish to to engage with you in, in, in dispute about uh, how you how you how you how you choose to see, to see things. That's not the way I see things. Uh, but where where I think you and I are certainly in agreement is that it would be right for me to come back before this committee and uh, when the investigation is concluded and to set out what I think and to and to be properly uh, interrogated about. Uh, about the the findings of the uh, of the investigators, but that that has not happened yet. Uh, the thing isn't over, uh, and um, any such discussion is, in my view, uh, premature. Uh, right, from the wrong yeah. You did. No, I, 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 I've done my best too, but that, that there is literally not a lot more I can say. Right.